Yes, renovations at San Angelo's Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Park are just about ready for a grand opening scheduled next week. Maya Skinner has more in tonight's News Connection. Carl White, the City of San Angelo's Park and Recreation Director, says Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Park has seen some renovations since it was first created in the 1970s. On this site, before that was the old Gwynn baseball field, which is basically right behind you. Uh, in the early 70s, uh, this became a public park, a neighborhood park. So at that time, we had money to do everything like the, the pavilion and the playground that you see in the background, as well as other renovations to this park. But we didn't have enough money to put in a new restroom. Currently, visitors have access to portable restrooms, but that's all about to change in the coming days. White says the city authorized San Angelo's NAACP to raise private funding to get new restrooms. They raised nearly $260,000 with grants and donations from the community. This one's a little bit smaller. It's comparable to the one that we have at Jaime Perdone Park. But we, we've started using these um, prefabricated restrooms because they're, they're really solid and durable. Uh, they hold up well to, to all the weather and uh, use. So it's a restroom, so it's going to be a comfortable, usable restroom. White says each park in San Angelo was designed differently to create a unique experience for everyone that visits. He describes how Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is implemented here at this park so people can remember his legacy. I mean, if you look behind me, there's an arch that uh, uh, the folks in the community, almost about the time the park was renovated, worked together to create that arch to honor Dr. King, custom made. Uh, laser cut panel showing the uh, Dr. King's profile on the playground to remind folks that is this this park honors Dr. King and uh, especially to remind children about the legacy that he left us. The city and NAACP are waiting for a certificate of occupancy and are expecting to host a ribbon cutting on January 19th. For your news connection, I'm Maya Skinner.